This is part three of Ansible for Networking Engineers. Let's build on our previous videos and install some collections and gather some facts from our network devices. Let's grab the collections we need. I've logged on to galaxy.ansible.com and I'll search for Cisco NXOS. If we click on it, that is the command there that we need to use to install that collection. If we had a requirements file in a collections folder in the project root, we could pick any release that we want from there and specify that within that file. We're not going to do that, we're just going to simply copy it. Let's paste that into our console. I'm also going to do the same for Cisco iOS. and Cisco ESA. Both can be searched for on the collections website. Let's go to Visual Studio Code and create our first playbook. Let's call it gather underscore facts dot YAML. All YAML files start with three tashes at the top. Let's give this a name. Let's call it gather some facts. We'll now specify the hosts we want this to run on. We'll use R1 for this example. And we'll put in gather facts, no. That may seem a little bit counterintuitive, but that's just so that we're not gonna gather a whole load of facts that we don't actually need. If you wanna see what facts we would gather, you can always do an Ansible R1-M setup, and that will show you what facts would be gathered if you said yes. Let's create some tasks. And I'm going to give this a name of gather iOS facts. Under there, we'll use the newly installed module we've just got from collections, cisco.ios.ios underscore facts. And let's create a task to view the facts. We'll use the debug module and we'll specify the variable, which is ansible underscore facts, which is created from the iOS facts module. Let's save it and run the playbook. Ah, we've got a problem. We can't SSH to R1 and we're missing those keys from the SSH underscore config file. Let's put them in. We need to use kex algorithm equals plus and then paste the two ciphers in that we're missing. Save it. Now SSH to R1. That's now added to the list of known hosts. Our playbook should now run. Remember, every device you want to create an SSH connection to, you will have to accept into the known hosts file. We could write an Ansible playbook for that, but that's outside the context of this video. Let's say we want to pull the serial numbers of our Cisco devices. There's it there, listed under net serial number. Let's amend that variable ansible underscore facts dot net underscore serial number and run the play again. That's our one serial number, but it's not particularly readable. Let's amend that. If we change var to message and use one of Ansible's inbuilt variables called inventory hostname, we can create a much prettier output. That inventory hostname will refer to R1 in this case. Let's run the play again. This should make this a lot more readable. Let's change R1 to iOS. This is a group containing all of our iOS devices that we set up in the previous video. Bingo. That's all of our iOS devices serial numbers. Let's have a play. Let's now change this to lab, bearing in mind that within lab is a Nexus device. Let's see how this reacts. R7 has errored, as it is not an iOS device. Let's copy that module. And 
change it to NXOS. Let's run this again. Any ideas what will happen? Yep, we've still got a fail on iOS devices. And every device fails for NXOS. We need to work out a way to get each module running per operating system. That can be done via our Etsy Ansible hosts file. If we notice in here we have set Ansible Network OS to be iOS or NXOS depending on what platform they're on. Let's put a conditional statement in. When Ansible underscore network underscore OS equals equals iOS and when Ansible Network OS equals equals NXOS. That should tell the module when to run and on which devices to run it on. I'm now expecting all iOS devices except for the Nexus to run here and only the Nexus to run and for it to skip all iOS devices on the next module. That's now given us our entire lab output in one playbook. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing or drop me a like. I've also added the GitHub repository link in the description below, which contains all the code I've used in this video. Next time, we'll look at how we can use Ansible to back up our Cisco devices.